beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. I'm gonna back. talk about the new Lorac contour and highlight palette. I got this several weeks ago and I have had time to play with it. And it's actually my first and only uh, contour and highlight palette. So honestly, I cannot um, compare it to any palettes, but I can give you my opinions and my thoughts on it and what I'm thinking of it so far. So, Rock Pro uh, joined the rest of the um, different companies out there that are coming out with the contour highlight palettes and it is pretty well overwhelming I would definitely say because I just feel like there's so many out there and um, if you're somebody that's not really familiar with contouring and highlighting um, you know you can get pretty confused and you're uncertain maybe like which one's gonna work the best for you or you know anything like that um, so I held off for a while. They're like none of them really caught my attention except for one, which is the Kat Von D shade in light. Um, you know, there's still that possibility I might purchase it. I'm not sure yet, really. Um, but you know, it it was there. That was the only one that I could think of that I thought, hmm, you know, I was thinking on, but uh, didn't make that plunge quite yet. So when I see the announcement of the rock coming out with one, I have really come to fall in love with a lot of Lorac products. Um, like like I said, especially their um, eyeshadow palettes lately, um, their blushes, I have several of their blushes. I have like their blush palette and then I have a couple of their single pa um, blushes, uh, their lipsticks and lip glosses, the Ultra Ego ones. I do really enjoy them. So the Lorac Pro Contour Palette does come with a booklet inside which is very nice um because you know somebody like me i have no much of any clue of contouring and highlighting i have learned just over the years of watching channels um on youtube um watching um other like famous um you know makeup artists and everything so you know it, it does give you a nice booklet and in here it will show you the different faces you know like your face shape so it kind of helps you there with the different face shape you know there's the oval the round which I'm definitely round and then there's square and heart here it is here and it does come in a very nice sleek compact I like that it you know it's just like their eyeshadow palettes um, they're all very nice and sleek and slim and um, it does have the uh, rubberized um, outside to it that the other palettes have and you know of course you're gonna get fingerprints on it and all that kind of stuff it does have the um, the cover and then it does come with a really nice size mirror I don't want to blind everybody but it does come with a really really nice size mirror here are your shades right here and for the most part I'm kind of surprised I've been using the deep contour one the one in the middle the most for me to kind of work in a little bit with my other products and it's kind of been working so far the light contour I do use a little bit more along my nose um, it's like the light contour there for me better and that's the great thing, like, you can just, you know, play around with it and find what works best for you. That's the other thing. So, on the top you have um, a beige highlight right there. You have the yellow highlight. And then you have the shimmer highlight on the end. And then on the bottom you have your light contour, your deep contour, and then this is your medium contour. And I do use the medium sometimes too, um, in with the um, deep contour. Now for the most part, when I'm setting under my eyes, if I am using this palette, which I have found myself pulling this out every time I'm putting my makeup on. So, you know, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm having fun learning and playing and everything else. So when I'm setting under my eyes, I use the yellow highlight and sometimes I even mix it in with the beige, these two together. So 
yeah, when I'm sitting in front of my eyes, that's kind of what I do. Like I said, for the light contour, I do along the nose. The deep, I kind of do a little more in the cheek area. The medium, sometimes I work in with that too, with the whole cheek area. So let's go ahead and get into the swatching, which I'm going to do the highlights first. So we'll go ahead and they're very smooth and buttery. No surprise there. Because that one's the beige highlight right there. Go into the yellow highlight. There's the yellow, and then there's the beige. I guess I don't know if my lighting is really going to show it though. The difference. I, mean, I can see it. Unfortunately, maybe like when I tip it like that, I don't know. I guess I'll have to wait and see. And then here's the shimmer highlight. And it's not really extremely shimmery, I would say. The shimmer's there, but if you're somebody that doesn't like a lot of sparkly, shimmery, but you do want to have something of some kind of a highlight shimmer, this has a really nice one. And there they are there. Of course, starting from here is the beige highlight, and then we work into the yellow and then the shimmer. And like I said, you can see the shimmer on that one. Very pigmented, as you see. Okay, then we're going to go into the contour. So we're going to do the uh, light contour. There's your light contour. As you can see, very light. Here's your deep contour. Yep, as you see, very deep to your light. <laughs> and then this is the medium one. Right there's your medium. So there they are right there. That one starting there goes the light. That's the dark and then that's the medium. Um, they do kick up pretty good of product. It does um, does pick up a lot and gets you know kind of um, powdery. I don't know if you can see on that one there on the end. So it does do that. Then it comes with this lovely brush, a contour brush. Okay, so there we have a contour brush right there. And it is really nice. I I like it because it does have give to it. Um, I know some people have talked about, you know, some of them don't always have some give to it. Um, this one, like, I've never really had to use a contour brush like this or had anything like it. But I know I've heard different people talk about some are too dense or too hard to work with their contour sometimes. But this one here... I can move it in an upward movement, like holding it like this, and then moving up a little bit, or um, I can go ahead and hold it straight and go back and forth, or I could turn it sideways like this and kind of work with it. Um, it's very, very versatile. I, I mean, I like that I don't have any other ones, so I don't know how they work, but um, this is really good. I, I really like it. I like the brush a lot. I'll have to put the price down below because I'm not sure. I think it's like $45, $48, somewhere around in there, but I don't think that's bad because you get a good bit of product here, products here, and you also get a brush where a lot of the other ones, like the Kat Von D one that I had really thought about getting is, I believe, $48. Um, and yeah you don't get no brush or anything like that so um it's something to think about like if you're new into the whole thing you kind of get both the contour highlight and a brush instead of having to buy separate you know separately or anything and Lorac is a really great brand i'm loving Lorac. I just i think the quality is just amazing and i'm just never disappointed you know i mean so far, so good. Never have not been disappointed with anything I've had. I highly recommend this. I think this is really great for traveling, definitely, because of how sleek and small it is. 
I think that's another thing to take, you know, into thought, you know, like if you're traveling, I mean, it's very small, you can pack these two things and go, and you'd be all set and ready, and um, I just, I, I highly recommend it, I've been loving it, and for me, this would definitely get a 10, I just, I love it very much. Hey, Abuse, thanks so much for joining me, I really appreciate it. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd so much appreciate it, and it would help me out a lot. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. You can join me each week. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the way you shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care, and I will see you then.